Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn what is DAC in SQL Server, how to use DAC. In this demo, you will be learning brief overview of what is DAC in SQL Server. Number two, how to connect to SQL Server using DAC via SQL Server Management Studio and using uh, going into SQL Server using DAC via SQL CMD. These are a couple of errors. Dedicated administrator connections are not uh, uh, supported via SQL Server Management Studio as it established multiple connection by design. We'll be reproducing these two errors right here. Connection established successfully and then failed uh, during handshake. So, um, and we'll be resolving these two errors. So after watching this demo, if you encounter any of these errors, you'll be able to resolve that. So let's talk about what is DAC. DAC is basically dedicated administrator connection in SQL Server. If you wanted to, if SQL Server is rejecting all the client connection uh, and you wanted to troubleshoot that and go wanted to go into SQL Server, you can use the DAC connection. And I'll be showing you how to use that. Let's go ahead and uh, basically use SQL Server Management Studio first to get uh, into SQL Server using DAC connection. So let's go ahead, let me open up my SQL Server Management Studio. I'm going to go ahead and run as administrator. So this is my SQL Server host name and this is my SQL Server instance name. In order to use DAC, right here is the admin colon. You need to put admin and then colon and after that you need to put your normally your host name and SQL Server instance name. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, try to connect and see if we get an error and um, see if one if that error is one of the errors that we have in our list so let's go ahead and do that and as you can see that it has error dedicated administrative connection are not supported via SS, uh, ms the reason behind this is uh, basically you can use uh, sql server management studio and connect to multiple sql server instances um, you don't have to open Management Studio every time you wanted to connect with one SQL Server instance. You can uh, connect with multiple instances using SQL Server Connect right here, connect to any object right here. So in order to use a dedicated connection, which uh, basically back behind the scene is telling us that this is the client you are using, going to use the DAC connection. So use me only for the DAC connection. I won't allow any other uh, SQL Server to be connected with this. So that is basically back behind the scene is telling us. So we're going to go ahead and cancel this. And we're going to say, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and use database engine query. And I wanted to use DAC connection. So in order to resolve that error, you need to click on this li little icon or you can go in the tools and uh, click on database engine query. So let's go ahead and open that. It'll open the same interface. However, it is uh, by clicking on database engine query. So now let's go ahead and use admin colon and then rest of, rest of uh, your uh, SQL Server host name and instance name and Windows Windows authentication uh, right here the user needs to have uh, uh, needs to connect to master database otherwise I'll show you that uh, if this is not uh, the this user doesn't have master database as a default I'll show you where you can change uh, that particular um, uh, default database if it's connecting to different database but uh, let's go ahead and use this uh, DAC connection so we're going to go ahead and connect. As you can see that we're connected using DAC connection and let's run a query. And we should be able to explore all the databases. All right. So let's go ahead and close this. Let's click on that again. And I'm going to show you real quick that uh, where to use if this is if master database right now is not uh, is by default to try to connect to master database if this user has default database other than master you need to put that database in click on options and up here database name it won't basically um, you won't be able to click and explore the databases you need to know the database name and you can just go ahead and type it you can go ahead and in my case it's a master so you can go ahead and type the master so we're gonna go ahead and um, try to connect and it's connected so let's go ahead and cancel this again and we're going to go ahead and reproduce another error uh, sometimes basically the error number two right here connection established successfully and then failed to uh, during the handshake that is because 
uh, your named pipe protocol is disabled and I'm going to show you real quick where that is we're gonna go ahead and SQL Server configuration manager this is my SQL Server configuration manager if you go in uh, SQL Server network configuration open up and go to your instance name protocols as you can see in my case only two uh, protocols are enabled shared memory and TCP IP and named pipe is disabled if you ever get this error right here that means that your named pipe is disabled right here you don't have to enable basically this and uh, because this will require restart services you don't have to enable this you can force your connection in SQL Server Management Studio to use TCP IP which you know that it's enabled so how how you do that let's go ahead and change network protocol to TCP IP all right we have enabled it and you would probably go ahead and try to connect it's not gonna connect and let's go ahead and connect it's gonna uh, give us a failure the reason is that when you change the network protocol the uh, authentication basically um, it's 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 not valid anymore so I'll show you how so we will get this error if you get this error after changing to TCP IP that's okay we're gonna go back to login and we're gonna just refresh this see I'm using the same login what I did was clicked on uh, SQL Server authentication and then after that I did Windows authentication now I if I'll connect connect I connect it so this is these are tips and tricks uh, and I wanted to uh, share with you so let's go ahead and basically close this connection because only one DAC connection can be open in a running SQL Server instance so we're going to go ahead and close SQL Server Management Studio and we're going to use our second method which is SQL Server CMD so we're gonna go ahead and open CMD in administrator all right so in order to connect the command remains same but how to connect to uh, SQL Server using SQL CMD is SQL CMD is the command and then dash s is uh, your server name which is in my case dynamics ax dev backslash SQL test if you don't provide any any of that uh, um, uh, username and password right here then it's going to take your Windows authentication just like it took in SQL Server Management Studio. So um, what we're going to do is in order to use the DAC you need to do the same thing right here. You can use admin right here. Let me show you. Like this you can use this command and you're connected. Select asterisk from sys databases go and as you can see that we have basically connected using one DAC connection let's kill this connection and let's open up mm, again the SQL CN, uh, command line and now we will use SQL CMD dash s admin Dynamics AX Dev and we are connected. This is the DAC connection. As you can see, we were able to explore all the databases. So basically, this is how you uh, uh, connect uh, to SQL Server using um, a DAC. Uh, using SQL Server Management Studio and using SQL Server uh, CMD and we did reproduce this error and uh, this error basically sometimes comes along and sometimes it doesn't come along but if it does come along then you need to basically go ahead and enable um, uh, named pipe if, if you don't you don't have to enable named pipe and I showed you that how you can force your connection to go use TCP IP not named pipe